Cat production measurement for hydraulic excavators provides production information to the owner and the operator. This video shows the basic operation and the menu features of the payload system. To begin, start by selecting a work tool that has been set up for use with cat production measurement. For details on setting up and calibrating each bucket, please refer to the operational maintenance manual and or your calibration videos. Press the pattern change key until the cat production measurement screen appears on the monitor. Perform a bucket zero calibration on the bucket at an initial startup by accessing it through the CPM weighing calibration menu and selecting bucket zero or by using the shortcut bucket zero key on the main machine display. Bucket zero calibration is not intended to be done prior to loading each truck, but more so daily or on startup after bucket changes, GET changes, to adjust for material carryback conditions or when not achieving desired accuracy. It is also considered to be part of the initial bucket calibration setup. See the operation and maintenance manual or the calibration video for details. If there are no numbers showing for the current truck and bucket, this signifies the system is currently in standby mode. Press the standby key on the display to switch to the way mode. The top button on the left joystick pressed in conjunction with the left joystick trigger button also has this functionality. Toggling between standby and way mode is a useful tool for doing cleanup work versus loading out trucks. Although it is not required, an operator could choose to use a target weight. If desired, select the truck to load by pressing the site configuration key to bring up the truck list. Assuming you have set up trucks with target payloads, press OK to highlight the list, scroll to the truck you want, press OK again to select, and press the home key to return to the payload screen. If you want to change the truck target weight, use the arrow keys. Pressing the up arrow is required to access initially. You can also change the target weight by holding the left joystick trigger button and simultaneously moving the right joystick thumb wheel forward. We will demonstrate how to load a truck using target payloads since that engages alerts for the operator. However, the operator might, may find it more strategic to load using no target weights, which is perfectly fine. The target payload will just show asterisks and the load warning alerts will not function. The operator then simply loads the truck using the normal operating practices that they are accustomed to. The key is smooth operating practices at normal operating speed. Continuing to load, the status bar shows the current payload information. Cumulative truck payload, current bucket payload, weigh status, truck count, truck status, target weight remaining payload, if using a target weight, and bucket count. As the operator comes up out of the cut, the CPM system provides bucket weights that are initially estimated payloads, signified by a white weigh icon on a black background. Then, while swinging, there will be two beeps, and the weigh status will change to a scaled payload obtained, signified by a black weigh symbol on the green background. If only an estimated weight was obtained for some reason instead of a scaled weight, it is perfectly fine to use that weight versus reweighing if the level of accuracy is not of the highest concern. Otherwise, the operator can simply reweigh to obtain a scaled weight. Press the standby key on the display or the left joystick button in conjunction with the left trigger button. If you need to temporarily stop the loading or the accumulation of payload for stored trucks, press it again to resume. Continue to load smoothly for the remaining bucket loads to complete the target load. If you are using target weights, after you get an accurate weigh on the next to last bucket, there is an audible alert to let you know you only have one to two more passes to complete the target load. The center of truck status icon will turn green. After the accurate weigh on the next bucket, there will be a different audible alert to indicate that you have reached your target, and the entire truck status icon will become green. If your current bucket load is too much, the truck status icon will become red. The tip-off feature can be utilized by the operator to dump material back to the cut. Notice how the estimated weight in the bucket changes real-time for the operator, allowing the operator to adjust the bucket material to the correct amount to finish off the truck. Once adjusted, swing to the truck, obtaining scaled payload, and then place the final bucket in the truck. Press the store button on the display, or the right joystick button in conjunction with the left trigger button. Remaining payload, bucket count, and bucket payload will be cleared. The truck count will remain and a new weigh cycle can be started. Another alternative would be to use tip off to the truck. Here is a similar truck loading example where the operator has chosen to swing a full bucket to the truck and then tip bucket material to the truck for a final load. 
overload target signals if he is using a target payload. The operator uses tip off to truck feature and starts with 2.33 tons in this case. He tips off to approximately 1.0 tons remaining in the bucket, which also shows 0.4 tons remaining on his target for a total of 17.6 cumulative tons on the hauling unit. Notice that waiting to press store until after the operator swings back to the cut allows the CPM system to provide a new scaled weight on the remaining material in the bucket and adjust the cumulative weight and bucket weights accordingly. If the operator hits store now, those adjusted weights are what is stored.